In this video, we're going to be talking about the complex plane and finding the absolute value of a complex number. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking our coordinate plane and we're going to be changing our x-axis to the real numbers and our y-axis to the imaginary numbers. So basically what we're saying is if we have a plus bi, our a becomes our x and the b of the bi becomes the b in our coordinate point. So for example, if we were trying to graph the point negative 1 comma 3, what this would transition to is that z is a negative 1 plus 3i. And so in this movement, what we would do is we would move to the left 1 and then go up 3, and this would be our point. If we were graphing the point negative 2, negative 1, then we would have negative 2 minus i. So we'd go to the left 2 and down 1. And finally, if we were graphing the point 0, 4, then we would see that z equals just a plain 4i. And so we would just go up 4 and plot that point there. Let's go ahead and do just one more so we can see what it would look like if we were graphing something like 3 comma 0. Well that would translate to just a 3 and in which case we would be graphing it right there. Now to find the absolute value of a complex number we're going to have again our z equals a plus bi and that's going to translate to the absolute value of a plus bi which is the square root of a squared plus b squared. So let's go ahead and let's do an example. So here we're going to plot and find the absolute value of z equals negative 3 plus 5i. As an ordered pair that means that we would be plotting negative 3 comma 5. So we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll plot that. So we have negative 3 on the real and then up to 5 on our imaginaries. So this is going to be our point right here. So basically the absolute value of z means that we're finding the distance from our origin to that point. So that's our absolute value. So here we're going to be looking for our absolute value of z. So we'll have the square root of negative 3 squared plus 5 squared and if we plug that into the calculator, that's going to give us the absolute value of z equals the square root of 29. And the square root of 29 is as simplified as it gets. And so we've just found the absolute value of z equals negative 3 plus 5i. 